Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We're continuing our game here where we are uh, have a couple different issues going on. We got um, <clears throat> issue number one over here. We're running out of water, uh, which is never a good thing. But it is a good opportunity to build some ventilation here uh, since it's empty anyway. The downside is nobody has access to a bathroom right now because there's no water coming in. Uh, issue number two is the persistent issue that has been plaguing us for uh, a little while now and that is all the steam that is continually getting generated down here uh hopefully with enough um enough water coming down here maybe cooling it off uh we might reach a point where we can be productive down here again we do have a path over here that will let us get there but currently it's a little short on oxygen, which is another problem. If we're out of water, there's no oxygen being produced. So, cause these require uh, regular water. So what we really need to do is like priority nine is get these pipes put in. And what that's gonna do is tap into this and it's gonna siphon water off, bring it into here, convert it to regular water, and start refilling this a little bit uh, because we need water for all sorts of things, including our food, which also is not growing because there's no water. So problems abound on our primary uh, planetoid, but we'll, uh, we'll do what we can do to try to resolve them. We have a little time. We can kill all these creatures and get food, so we're not completely hopeless there. Uh, I am going to go ahead and start it up and... Let it run for a little while. Uh, Fulona is also not out of food, but is struggling a little bit. We, at least now that we have oxygen back up and running over here, we at least are producing uh, food. Unfortunately, it is in these planter boxes still uh, because we have an issue over here where <clears throat> the water is too hot and it's not... Uh, not doing a great job of uh, keeping these plants, even though there's wheeze warts here, it, it's not enough to keep these plants, um, you know, cooled down to the point that they need to be. Uh, and then if we go over to this planetoid, we, if you recall the last uh, episode, we lost a duplicate and that was definitely problematic, but um, hopefully that won't be an issue going forward now that we've checked that box and made sure that that was taken care of uh, as far as food goes. All right, so the question is, what do we do here? <clears throat> I could bring a dupe over here. This isn't a particularly good dupe, but they have some skills that will give them some bonuses. And they are, you know, potentially expendable. So let's go ahead and throw them in here. At least it's another person. Uh, where is this water coming from that is just leaking everywhere? I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Hopefully these plants grow relatively quick and we can get another another mealwood out of here. I might have to deconstruct this uh, just so they gain access to that because we're, we're probably going to need the food more than anything. Uh, this is also set to auto harvest. We should set that to... Set all these auto harvests to priority nine, because that's going to be pretty uh, integral to us not immediately dying. All right, let's take a look over here, see what's going on. We should have water back up and running. Yes, it looks like we do. We're also getting a bunch of meat, apparently. But more importantly, the water is flowing into the systems now. So we should have bathrooms. We should have plants up and running to some extent not fully but at least some water is making it so we've got that going um some stress is being reduced that's nice it's a good thing we are building uh we are building some of some of that over here because we we hit pretty much peak stress over here so i did want to get some massage tables up and running uh if anything just to make people a little bit happier because their situation is uh you know it's a little rough it's not uh it's not the best thing in the world now if we can get cold temperatures we might be able to get some nosh sprouts up and running that would be nice but 
unfortunately, we have the opposite problem where everything is just way too hot. Although, up here is pretty cold. So, we could potentially try to get something up and running here, at least with Nash Sprouts. These, from what I recall, it's been a while since I've read up on them, but these things supposedly are um, very inefficient and they're not really worth doing. So I've avoided doing them so far, but I don't know. Desperate times may call for desperate measures at some point. Let's dig this out. Let's, let's look at building a farm up here if we can. Maybe we can get some of these Nash sprouts going. It would be nice to get some sort of, some sort of food in the system. Uh, who is starving? Starving is a problem. Marie, you are starving. Uh, is anything growing quickly? No? You're at 93%. Uh, let's stop disinfecting stuff. That's just a waste of time. Alright, come on. Let's, uh, priority... So if this is priority 9, is it just unreachable? Is that the problem? Because I, I definitely want to make sure we're digging out all these little nodes... Okay, so I think the problem is they can't actually reach there because they have to get up here first. So let's try getting that built first. And let's focus on that because, you know, <clears throat> being able to eat and not die is a little more ideal. Right, why are we not, like, immediate getting these built? Okay, so now... Oh, does it require... A digging skill that neither of them have that is possible let me take a look at their skills got a lot of skills on the other planetoids um we're gonna put hard digging on you marie you got nothing right now but um i don't wanna i don't wanna make your mood too great because well one you're probably gonna die and two i would much rather all right so he's digging she's starving to death uh is there there's no food available for her this is 96%. Think he is already dead from starvation. We gotta bury him at some point. Alright, let's uh let's do an emergency dig here. Maybe we'll get lucky and this will be like not maybe maybe this will be food. Mm, I'm not seeing any food. It's really unfortunate. I don't think she's gonna make it. Nope, she's got a hundred calories left and she is almost out of food entirely. I don't think we could try to dig up some more. I'd have to be very strategic with where we're digging. There's nothing immediately over here that, that screams to me, you know, that there's food available. Uh, let's, I guess, try to dig through this. Maybe we'll get lucky and one of these three or four tiles will be food. Let's do priority nine on that and just try to get that dug out if we can. Yep, she is going to die, which is really unfortunate. She's got 20 calories left. Yep, there she goes. All right, well, there's little we could do about that. We now have one duplicate over here <laughs> trying to trying to make do. Let's let's hop back over here and see see what's going on on this planet. Do we have oxygen being produced? We do. So there is water coming in here. Ooh, repair delivery. What happened there? Did it get too hot? I'm a little surprised to see that. And most of the time, this is, this type of system doesn't screw up in that way. Something must have happened, though. <clears throat> All right, well, there's barely enough oxygen pumping out. Actually, there's not enough oxygen pumping out at all. But at least there's something coming through. Yeah, this is definitely insufficient for what it is. I don't want to say we're normalizing over here, but I think we're, I think something's happening here that isn't so terrible. Kind of really wish I could put like a steam generator here, but the steam's not hot enough. It's not going to get, any, it's not going to get anywhere with this. Well, hopefully, I mean, there's a lot of pressure here and a lot of steam built up here, but it's not, um, it, again, it's too cool. It needs to be hotter than this. So I need like, uh, I almost need like a, a steam turbine to be built here and wait for this volcano to heat up the steam enough to to make it work. It's not uh it's not working with what we got right now. That's for sure. Um okay, apparently we are still pumping that water. I thought we had turned that off. Where's that water coming from? Oh, it's coming from over here. 
Okay. So the problem is I don't necessarily want this water to be pumping in this direction right now because I don't want all the water uh, leaving this system and going to this planetoid because we have a dormant geyser here that we were using. This cool slush geyser doesn't run for another 53 cycles. So I definitely don't want to um, do anything there. All right, what is going on with... All right, we still got the heat coming through here. We still got these pinch of pepper plants working. That's actually surprisingly been okay. Where we're running into some difficulties is just having enough plain water. And I don't... I mean, we have a geyser for plain water here. It's a cool steam vent, but this water is still kind of warm that, that gets into here. So it's not really an ideal spot. This battery's broken again. It's overheating. All right, Hassan, unreachable food. Did he not get this mealwood? No, there's mealwood right here. Was he not able to eat that? Uh, let's look at consumables. Maybe I have. Maybe that's unchecked for him because it's unchecked by default. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check these for for this. You can definitely eat that. There you go. He's got some meal lice there. There's some more over here, so he's not completely hopeless like Marie and uh, Stinky were, unfortunately, for them. All right, but we should be able to dig over here and get down to here. If we can do that, we open up two more meal lice, and we have some excellent plant, which could really bail us out in a bit of a pickle. So I think we... Well, it is priority nine. I'm surprised he's not putting a little more effort into making that happen, but that's okay. We'll let him do his thing for now, and we'll hop back over to the other planetoid. Uh, the other thing I need to do over here is inject some water into this system to get this up and running, because right now it's not doing anything. Uh, speaking of which, I need to seal that off so this pump is actually doing something functional. That would be ideal as well. Uh, where can we steal some water from? And also, let's check what we just got coming in on the printing pod. Uh, Muckroot would be helpful for a planetoid that is dealing with some food issues. I don't think we're currently experiencing any. So I don't know if we actually need to go that route or not. <clears throat> Let's mop up all this liquid because the soggy feet debuff is uh, definitely something I want to avoid if I can. It just makes people unhappy and there's really not much reason to... Put yourself in a situation where that's going to be a problem. Um, okay, so none of this is growing because it's too hot, which, again, par partially our own fault, but it was also coming in relatively hot compared to where it needs to be. So we need something to cool it down before it pumps out to these plants. But I don't think we have enough cooling power. Like, we have wheeze warts, but... They don't cool that much. I mean, I, it's better than nothing, but it it's still not that much. Uh, the question is, is it worth is it worth bringing this over here? I don't really want any of these, so I guess muckroot it is, and I guess it'll come to this planetoid just so that we don't have to we get a little buffer on the food situation. All right, let all this liquid. Got to keep mopping it up. I think I'm gonna on well. Kind of a silly decision, I think, but I might want to... Let's undock these suits and move them over here so that we can... Well, hopefully they'll put them right there. That way there's oxygen in them, and we can hopefully get down here and start doing some of the stuff that needs to get done over here. Uh, Hassan, you're fine. You're not starving. You'll be okay. You have plenty of muckroot. I'm glad I did that because that was definitely... Potentially a problem. Uh, let's put edible and cooking ingredients here. All right, let's head back to our other planetoid. We are okay on calories here, but we are net decreasing, which is a bit of a problem. Um, part of that is because we just don't have enough water. We definitely need to find a way to get more water. All right, how do we get polluted water? I don't want to take it from the circuit. I could take it from this circuit. Because this is just going around and cooling stuff down. 
because this is relatively cool. Or I could rebuild the pipe that I had here. I don't think it needs to be insulated, but I'll make it insulated just in case. Um, how high up do I need to go? I need to go over here. Okay, and then let's bridge it over here. And then we're going to bridge it. Wrong button. I meant to rotate it. All right, we're going to add another bridge over here. And then should be able to connect directly to that. So we'll do that, do that, and then do that. And that should let us inject polluted water. The amount of germs it has shouldn't matter because it's just in a, a, a loop to cool. So my hope anyway is that it won't matter. We should be getting to a point where this goes into a vacuum really soon. Once a vacuum's in here, I can deconstruct this gas pressure vent and reroute this to go to the steam rocket. Because that, that's what this all was for anyway, is just to try to get the steam rocket up and running. So we'll let that do its thing. Uh, dupes should be available. Why is there so much water? Like, mess everywhere. Stop. Stop. All right. Water is available. Man, whenever I hear that suffocating noise, I freak out a little bit. All right, well, combat's fine. I'm not worried about combat. They can fight till they're blue in the face. But I am worried about the other stuff. I did turn... No, I left this locked. That's right, because I wanted them to still run through over here. But the oxygen is not... All right, let's undock these suits again. I don't understand why they put them back. I didn't indicate to deliver them, I don't think. Let's deliver suits there. The suit the suits are all screwed up because I uh did a couple things I shouldn't I probably shouldn't have. Alright, I'm gonna try to make a couple more suits. I think that's part of the problem right now. Because they're they're coming down here, they're leaving suits down here when they when they go past this dock. This is always permitted. I need to do clearance vacancy only. Although, if they come through here, they can bypass that dock altogether. Which, again, is fine if they're coming from this direction. Alright, yeah, there's those atmosphere docks there. Okay, so this is not producing anything right now because I have it all... This battery is all screwed up. Which, I don't understand why it's overheating as much as it is. There's nothing surrounding it that is generating that much heat. Or maybe, okay, so the battery natively generates heat. And then it's just reaching a point where it's overheating. Because it's generating heat like this. So it needs it needs something to dissipate the heat into. I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Starvation. Why is there starvation? Nobody should be starving. There we go. Bog bucket. Don't starve. Let's get this all dug out. Probably should have done this a while ago. Because now we're kind of falling behind here on the... We're racing the clock with the uh, the food. Because nothing else is producing right now. Like, this stuff is it's not growing because there's no polluted water coming up here. Uh, why is there no polluted water coming up here? Because it was just too hot or did something get broke? I think I just want the water to come here. I mean, let's at least put it over there, even if it's too hot. Maybe, maybe it could still cool down. Alright, so... Are the guys going to do anything here? It should be enough to get them to go through there. I hope. Uh, is there just not enough power demand? What's going on over here? Okay. I guess we're going to have to wire that back in temporarily. Don't know why why that's doing that, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. we got some calories available. We do have some Nash sprouts over here. They seem to be very slow growing. Like, this has been growing over here for quite some time. This hydrogen might get in the way. But that'll kind of get pumped out once we get this connected. Uh, let's actually set that priority to 9. I want to make sure we have oxygen continually pumping if we can. No, we're just going to ignore that. That's cool. Yeah, let, let's just ignore that. That's good. Uh, okay, we just lost two meal, uh, two meal wood. Because of the hydrogen production so i hope uh food wise like he's okay right now but i hope he 
has enough to sustain him to get him all the way down here. Because this is definitely going to be problematic if he can't make it down here. I'm actually going to increase the priority to, like, exclamation points here. Because he just needs to break through this. And I think part of the problem is breathability because of the carbon dioxide. But there's an oxy fern here, which is good. <laughs> which I just I just deconstructed. That's perfect. What is he doing? Why why did I do this? This just seems silly. And now I got that mixing mixing into there, which is unfortunate. Uh what do we have as far as it's not that as far as food goes. I could get another person over here. They'll probably die. But it might be worth it. Okay, that that was very silly. I don't know why I did that. I think we're going to have to kill a pip. He's currently having a meltdown, which there's really not much I can do about that. I can't make him not melt down. Okay, so these bog buckets are still growing. They're just not growing fast. That's at 93%. All right, so I don't think there's anything that's going to save this person either. Camille is probably screwed, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I kind of want this hydrogen to get pumped out here. And that should be a thing that's happening, right? They are they are consuming this, I think. Or at least they will be. All right, well, at least some moods are slightly getting better. Uh, where is Camille? What's her calorie situation? 600 calories? Yeah, that's not good. That is not good at all. Is there anything we can do on this planet to try to save her? Could try to bring food down here. I do have... Deliver suit, deliver suit... I at least have a way to get suits with oxygen. And it would be really ideal if I can just get somebody down there. You know what? It's cooled down to the point. I mean, like, it's still hot and people are still going to get, like, burned and stuff. But I think it's cooled down to the point where I could unlock this door. And that makes all this accessible to us again. Which, again, you know, not, not the best, but something. All right, we have some food heading over. So maybe they won't starve to death. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I should lock that again. Not good. Uh, allow manual use. Turn that off. Go to nine. All right, everybody get out of there. Somebody, Somebody's dying. There's no way with this much scalding going on. All right, I think I'm going to have to, like, painstakingly move all duplicates up to, like, here. So bear with me while I, whilst I do this. Well, let's see how many just go. Where are they even going? I don't even know where they're going. Oh, they're going to get the food. All right, well, that's all done now. So, like, what's going on? They should all be running away. Yep, everybody's dying. Oh, God. Terrible, terrible. Save who you can. That was a huge mistake. I should not have done that. All right, let's lock the lock the door again. That was, that was a boo-boo. All right, we're going to lose, like, several several duplicates here. <laughs> oh, my God. This is terrible. Wait, he was in there and he died? Oh, that's all right. It's time to clean house anyway. We'll be fine. They were all extra. Otto, what's going on with you? Okay, so now we're, we're running into an oxygen problem now, which is definitely not good. Did we, we need to lock this. This is, like... Priority number a thousand because too many people are coming down here and being stupid. I'm sure we got some bodies kicking around here somewhere now. Oh my goodness. Our hospital was not big enough. I guess we need to build more uh more cots, huh? That they have somewhere for an emergency for people to recover. And oxygen is definitely a problem. So let, let's uh let's see what's going on here. Do we where where's our guy? He's over here installing a pipe. All right, so why is he not digging here? Is he unable to dig this type of ground? So that's interesting because he has the... He doesn't have super hard digging, but he has super duper hard digging. So he can't actually dig through here because it's abyssalite. So that kind of sucks. There is some calories available, so he's not... He's not without food entirely, but it is going to be challenging for him relatively soon. Uh, I think maybe we need to dig this out. That came really close to the edge there. Uh, let's dig that out and see if we can discover any more food. 
mop up this water. Just focus on building, I think, at this point. Um, this, we don't need to pretend to close that off because we already made a mistake and sent it down here, which was uh, a bit of a boo-boo. Should have probably not done that. Um, I am really, really regretting <laughs> what, what I did over here. Um, did they lock this? They did lock it. Okay, so we could change this priority nine. All right, so hopefully, Nisbet, what are you doing? Hopefully they get to the point where they're just going back here and only going through there because this is uh, not good. All right, so this entire section of the base just needs to stay off limits for now. But I got to figure out why. Man, that was crazy. All right, we got to figure out the water situation because, well, we have, we have some water coming through right now, but... Um, no, okay, it is doing as much oxygen production as it can do. So we're not we're not completely devoid of oxygen production. It's pumping out pretty solid here. There's just nothing apparently immediately by the uh the doctors here. Where's this all going? Looks like a lot of it's going into suits. I don't know, maybe maybe we should build a vent here. That might be a good idea to make sure we have oxygen in our base. Because uh, that's why he died suffocated right here, which is kind of crazy. All right, so now we have a pressure situation going on over here. There's not a, See, there's not enough oxygen pressure. So I think this has to just pump for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, there's a little gas vent sitting over here. I don't know what that's doing. All right, well, we just lost a bunch of people. <laughs> um, is there anything worth getting? Uh, let, yeah, let, let's... Let's get a stinky over here. That's a plus seven rancher. I'm sure somebody died that was rancher or something over here. I'll never know the full scope of it, at least not for a while. All right, so we're back to having a normal level of water over here, which is good because that means everything should be getting the appropriate amount of water. Uh, starvation is a problem. There should be no reason for starving. If somebody's starving you know what at least I, my guess is it's a food uh like permissions thing so i think for now we're just gonna allow everybody access to everything just to make sure everybody gets fed and we don't lose even more people in in progress here um how is this water pipe situation going by the way i feel like we're are we pumping here no, this is still disabled. Okay, so let's let's re-enable that. That's part of the problem. See, and now this seems okay. Like, all the steam kind of went away after everybody died. <laughs> Maybe their bodies cooled it down. Who knows? All right, let's uh, pop over to this other planetoid, see how things are going. Looks like we got some bog jelly rock in here. We got, we got some food available anyway, but the bog jelly's rocking, which is perfect. Looks like we cleared out some of this. It is cold up here, but that's like a temporary cold. It'll eventually heat up, so I need some sort of cycle here. Uh, who is starving? What are you doing on the spaceship? All right, let's pop over here. Speaking of spaceships. Okay, so we have reached a point where this is just a vacuum. So let's go ahead and deconstruct that. And hopefully, once this water starts flowing... We could start cooling that down. We'll get more sleepweed seeds. More sleepweed meat equals more pepper bread. More pepper bread is more good. All right, so everything going okay here. The fertilizer's not running. We must be out of some sort of ingredient for that, which is not good. All right, sleepweed seeds are going. How is this situation? Why have we not enabled this? Do priority nine, make sure we get that up and running, because that is kind of important to start as soon as we can. There we go. I don't know how much water we actually need to pump into there, but that is probably enough, at least by the time we get to that spot. It'll probably fill up most, if not all, of that circuit. All right, let's deconstruct this, make sure that line's not going any further, and we'll let that all load in, and then we'll deconstruct this bridge. There we go. Now that will consume quite a bit of power, but that's okay. We're not going to get it back, but we're going to at least be able to do something with it. 
All right, the second loop around should uh, cool it even more. I'll probably have to put something in place to prevent that from getting so cold it starts breaking the pipes. Because if that just continually cycles through there, eventually it's going to cool down to the point it's going to freeze. Yep, here we go. We've got some negative, uh, negative 15 going on now. So what we need is a liquid shutoff valve. We probably want that right here. All right, let's set the priority like really high on that. All right, I think it's right by a heavy wire, or actually it's even closer to a conductive wire. So let's just hook that into that. And then I think what we're going to want is temperature sensor, right? Liquid pipe thermo sensor. We're going to want to set up an automation wire there. Probably should have done all that in advance, but that's all right. Uh-oh. Is this breaking? Is this cold damage? Made of steel. No. It's the pipe. Well, that is really unfortunate. So the insulated pipe is broken. That's surprising to me. I don't know how that would be. Let's do a priority nine here, and let's mop all this crap up. All right, hopefully this finishes up pretty soon. Building entombment. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so send a green signal. If the temperature is below negative five. No, if it's above negative five, because we want it to cool. Yes. So now I just need this to connect to that. And we should be gravy, with the exception of this needing to be repaired. Which, again, I don't really understand why that's a thing. So why is that? It got too cold from the liquid? Maybe this needs to be regular pipe? I don't know. We'll have to... Let them mess around with that, see if we can figure it out. All right, we have a little bit of a food crisis over here, which is not a surprise. We knew this was coming. Uh, did we prepare for it? No, nah, probably not, but we knew it was coming. Um, I guess we just have to dig and try to find food wherever we can. Let's get a ladder built there. It's really unfortunate that we can't get the um, can't get down through here to get this meal lice or the hexalent. Uh, because that would be extremely handy right now. The good news is, even if he dies, which, to be honest, is very feasible, um, he at least, which, by the way, I'm you know just now seeing that I totally have a way out of this right here, but I did not notice. Probably should have uh, paid a little more attention to that, uh, especially with uh, the previous uh, person. All right, let's try to focus on getting that done. He's got some calories left, so hopefully we get some prioritization there. He's going to have some, some breathing issues. He's going to have to keep running back and forth. All right, well, hopefully he figures that out. If he doesn't, at least we have the, the thing built so we can send more people uh, if we need to. Let's mop this all up. It's priority 9 that. I think these need to be higher priority. All right, Hassan, can you make it? Probably not. Apparently, you're just going to be stupid and die. Please don't tell me you're going to um, go to sleep right now. All right, we're going to have to priority exclamation point here. Otherwise, this is not going to happen in the time frame it needs to. I still don't know if he'll even make it because he doesn't have a lot of calories to work with. Oh, he's going to go to bed. All right, well, get up and get moving. You're definitely not going to make it if you don't finish finish the job, dude. I'll be shocked if he makes it. Yeah, he does not have a lot of calories to work with. Keeps rubbing his eyes. All these little things are stopping him along the way. Got to keep going back for air. Can I just, like, murder this thing? Maybe murdering the plug slug is the most likely thing to save you? There, you have food, dude. All right, cancel all of that. Go eat the food. All right, you have 20 calories. Just eat. Don't run to a table. Oh, man. He just made it. Just made it. That was extremely close. Uh, I don't think we need exclamations anymore, but we can do priority nine. Hopefully, he will get that done. Uh, hatchling eggs. I'll print those over here. 
I'll get him some hatches. If anything, we can kill him and get some meat out of him. So, not completely pointless. We seem to be in the positive on with food over here again. I don't know where all this is coming from. Is this not outputting properly? Because I feel like there's just dirty water everywhere, which is really unfortunate. Um, this seems to be doing okay, though. We do have some bog jelly here, so this uh, refrigerant must be helping a little bit at least. Maybe not all the time, but at least a little bit. Uh, this is running pretty solidly. There's so much air pressure, it can't possibly go anymore. So these are all good problems to have, I think. Um, so food-wise, I think we were going to do a couple farm tiles here. and um, Nothing too crazy, but I did want to at least try to get something up and running over here. Slap a pneumatic door there. Let's get a ladder over here so we know we can actually get this built successfully. And hopefully we could put some nosh plants down there. I didn't do the automated ones because I don't want to deal with piping um, and trying to pipe through frozen on this planetoid yet until I figure out the uh, the cooling situation entirely. But I do want to get some of these uh, nosh sprouts up and running. So I, I think that would be, be a good thing. All right, so I think I'm going to put the cut in there for today. We, we lost a lot of dupes today, which is uh, never a good thing, but... It was due to my own ignorance and hubris, so at least there's that. Um, but we, we seem to have starting, you know, to correct the ship a little bit and at least heading in the, the right direction. Everything's up, kind of back up and running again. We're generating enough oxygen again. Uh, still haven't fully figured out this whole steam situation down here that I'm going to eventually have to sort out. But for the time being, it seems to be okay. Uh, we are losing... Um, we are losing glossy Dracos down here, which is not okay. But we'll add that to the list for next time. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.